Hello and welcome to Pick Up League Hockey. Before you hop into a game, here's some helpful tips to make your experience a bit easier. First, let's talk about passing the puck. Pick Up League Hockey is a team game, so passing is very important. To make a successful pass, first make sure you have control over the puck. Slide the puck in the direction you want to make the pass, but be careful with how hard you send it. If you pass too quickly or you don't have stable control over the puck, it will be much harder for your teammates to receive your pass. If you pass the puck too slowly, the opposing team will have an opportunity to intercept your pass. Take some time offline to practice your speed and accuracy. Now, let's go over shooting. Shooting uses the same fundamental concept as passing. In the practice menu, there is different difficulties you can set for the goalie and the targets. On one end of the ice is the targets, on the other is the goalie. Practice on the targets first, get comfortable with shooting the puck, and build your consistency. Once you get comfortable with shooting, move to the other end of the ice to the goalie. The biggest thing to understand is the prime shooting angles. If you are directly in front of the goalie, he will save the puck every single time. The best way to score is to shoot diagonally and aim for the far side of the net. The goalie will always cover the near side of the post, leaving the far side open to score. Next up, let's talk defense. The golden rule of defense is don't react, predict. In this clip, you can see the difference between reacting to where the puck is versus predicting where the puck is going to be. Place your stick away from where you think the puck is going to be, instead of right on top of it. Practice this mechanic and you will steal the puck from opposing players much more consistently. The second thing to understand about defense is covering the net and blocking shots. If you recall from the shooting portion of this tutorial, the goalie always covers the near side post, leaving the far side open. That is where you want to be positioned. Your body and your stick count as physical objects and the puck will collide with it. Keep your stick on the ice to block the low shots and your body will block the high shots. Now, let's go over game etiquette. There's three rules to keep in mind. Don't ice the puck, stay on side, and don't steal the puck from your teammates. Here is an example of an icing. Shooting the puck the length of the ice while behind the center line. This will result in a face-off in your defensive zone, which not only penalizes the player who iced, but their entire team. Here is an example of offsides. The player with the puck must cross the offensive zone line before you do. The final rule is, if one of your teammates has the puck, don't steal it from them. Now, let's go over breakaways. While on a breakaway, you want to take advantage of the goalie covering the near side post. Get as close as you can to the net with him still hugging the near side post and shoot it into the open side. Players will be right behind you when on a breakaway, so make sure you are extending as far forward as you can while still being in control of the puck. This will give players a harder time to steal the puck from behind you. Last, let's go over stick handling. Handling the puck can be tricky at first, but with a little practice, it will become second nature. Contrary to real hockey, in pickup league hockey, most players find it is easier to handle the puck while only using one hand. In this clip, you can see the difference between using two hands and using one. Seeing as most players find one-handing to be ideal, practice using both one and two hands and see which one is more comfortable for you. Remember. Practice makes perfect, so practice offline to hone your skills. One final thing before you hop in game. Pick up League Hockey as a Discord server, with great tips, stick giveaways, contests, and a full league. Play hard and have fun.